Hey guys, it's me again, Dia Tawari. Yes, and today I was actually I was making a I was making this car called like social distance car, and it and you get what it does by the name. It keeps distance from every object. It doesn't touch any object. Now. You see what I'm talking about? When there's an any object near the car, then it will just it's just gonna zoom away from it. And yeah, I'm using the distance sensor, the the ultrasound sensor. And anyways, so. This is the Coden Connections video, and I, I'm sorry I haven't posted for a while. I was kind of busy with my own stuff. So, yeah, I'll tell you the code first, and you know, I've told you about the wheels and stuff. And last time, I had told you about what what was the stuff you needed. So, you have to first. Put the five V and G N D to the. You have to put the five V and G N D to positive line and negative line. The G N D to negative and the five V to positive. Next, next you have to put a motor driver. So the E P pin in a motor driver. Should go to uh, H eighteen. Then it'll all be settled. So that's your motor driver. Now take the motors and connect each of the pins. So connect the right motor pin to uh, out one and out two and. Connect the left motors to out three and out four. Now you can now first you have to test. Actually, before putting it there, you'll have to test the motors. So connect them to connect one of the motors to positive line and negative line. Any you can keep any of the wires to positive and negative line, and then. If check if it's working and if it's going backward or forward. So imagine if left is going backwards, then you also have to check the right motor. Though you'll know that it'll be going forward because it may not be working. So then just put it back on the out one, out two. Just put the right right motor back on out one and out two, and the left motor back on out three and out four. And now that's not it, right? You might be thinking, and of course it's not. That's like such less coding. So now take the take the ultrasonic sensor and uh, put the female to male wires VCC to VC VCC to positive line and GND to negative line. And the trigger should go to D eleven and echo to do D ten. Now that's for the ultrasonic sound sensor. Most of this goes into the code. Then you have to take what do you see? D seven, D eight. So first. Put the D seven into like I N three, D eight to I N four, and and now yeah, and I N one to D nine, and yes, I N two. I mean, I N one 
that is supposed to be yeah i can that's supposed to be in like d5 no <laughs> no i'm joking why will it be in d5 so yeah and actually the ian 2 i like to mess with you guys but yeah please don't please don't me angry at me but i like to mess around ian 2 you might wonder it'll be in okay i'm just going to stop being creepy it's going to be first i'll tell you iron 1 iron 1 should be in like d4 and yeah iron 2 should be in d5 and yes that's a motor driver pins and do you think that's enough cuz i do yeah so i guess that's it for the that's it for the code god i wonder how i did it so fast I didn't do it so fast when i was doing it fully but yeah anyways you i hope you uh, actually have double sided tape because you need that to switch, uh, keep the breadboard and now yes time to get to the coding okay connect your car today since mine already has the code it's going to be kind of oh god stumbling like anything can't can stop it from moving yeah but anyways let's ignore it just ignore my car for now right now i'm just going to go to win block so turn arduino nano arduino nano click on arduino nano connect go to editor i'm just going to stop my car from jittering we just bring this it's kind of annoying cuz it just the car is just trembling and trembling and trembling it's really annoying okay it's not quite no you know that when i do in a beginning is the first step and next we shall just tell you the uh, the algorithm when i do in a search will set input and output devices then if uh, the if distance is let's see less i mean more than 15. okay it's if it's less than 15 we'll go backwards if it's more than 15 we'll go more than 20 we'll go forwards and if 15 is less than distance and 20 is more than this i mean oh god what am i saying if 15 is more than distance then we'll go backwards if 20 if distance is is less than 20% we'll go forwards and if 15 is more than if if distance is more than 15 and less than 20 and more than 20 then we'll stop so yeah let's start so first you'll also have to add an extension actually i think you'll have to add two of them first add this and then go up and scroll up do i don't need the motor driver though that's in the just get the car control driver you see this and click on it boom 
Now you see here that this initialize pen and yeah so get the initialize pen yeah and so now you have to say what the things are connected to right so just so i've told you what we are connected to one was four five that was seven and eight, right? We missed six. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was seven and eight. I can't believe I forgot that's like one of the most important details. But I, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was seven and eight. Tell me if I'm wrong. And yeah, then you have to get a forever loop here. Put it under that because that's all we need to initialize. Then let's uh, we'll have to make a variable. So go to variables, click on make a variable. I'm, I'll call mine distance. All sprites, okay. Now we're gonna set distance to. Now you wanted to know what your, you know. Yeah, you have to just. Get this ultrasonic sugar pen. Now, sugar pen was actually, I think, in 11. No, it was in 11. Yeah, yeah. And echo pen was in 10, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was right. Okay, so, anyways, when I get like uh, three blocks. And we can copy paste if you want, but first I block and go to operators here and get this operator and then go to variables, get distance and keep switch this to 15. Now, if you want this to go backwards, you have to use a certain pattern. So, we're going to do it like this. We're going to go to car control. We're going to say set direction. And take this one. Okay, now you have to do this correctly. So, do it like low, high, low, high. Low, so like it's kind of like an order low high low high okay that's for the backwards going thing then just copy paste this duplicate and yes you have to get this out get another operator that is this and Get the distance again and yeah, switch this to 20. Now, okay, now we have to do the another order for this one high, low, high, low for going forward. So, high, low, high, low. Okay, that's done. Now duplicate this and duplicate this and take this and duplicate this so we don't waste too much time and move this and go to operators get this and block and this god so yes don't keep it here it just did it wrong don't worry so you have to just keep it like uh, I think I'm doing it the wrong way. It's supposed to be. Oh God, I did it wrong. 
it's yeah I'm, I think I've did it right or have I not oh uh, no I've did it wrong pretty sure it's wrong yeah it's wrong you have to actually you have to switch this to 15 and this to 20 and then keep it in the end lock remember so like I I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be kept like this and this okay now you have to make it click fully stop to so keep all these glow and yeah I think that's it and just click on upload And yeah, wait, why is it saying upload? Well, that just happens in my win block, but it may happen to yours. So contact Wingy if it happens. But anyways, this will work. And yeah, anyways, guys, see ya. And also make sure this works. Like, subscribe, share this to your friends, and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks. And yep, have fun. Keep coding and yeah, keep doing the connections of this. This exact thing. Mine is kind of messed up, but accidentally nudged it to the elbow. But well, like I said, see ya.